Uh, these notes will be, of course, posted. I really encourage you to work through this second exercise, which goes backwards. Take the binary relation, it's not the same one, and you draw a diagram. Now, if you have a study group, and I hope you do, each of you should work that exercise independently and then show each other your diagram. And probably the diagrams are going to look different. And then you're going to have to look at the diagrams and see if you really drew the same post set. Because, and now I'm really coming back to your question, here are three very different post sets, but they have exactly the same cover graph. So the drawing of the order diagram is really important. And how you do that determines the details of the post set. All right, so look, on the left, of course, is the same example that we've had before. But you can see E is covered by F in the first one. Now look in the second one. Now there is a cover between them, but it goes the other way around. In the second one, E is not covered by F. E covers F. And that changes the post set completely. In the data file, for the first one, you would have a line that has E, F. In the second one, you would have a line that says F, E. And a little exercise. How many post sets altogether have the same cover graph as these three. Now, just look at those and see if you can't see one or two more right here. I'm going to give you a cheap way to get three. <clears throat> Turn the whole slide upside down. So you're up to six. Can't you get more than that? And I, I hope you're all saying, yeah, I see ways to, to get more. But back, and this is kind of a prelude to things we're going to do later. Alice and Bob are arguing. Alice said, ah, I went to the student union. I worked on this. There are 42 different post sets, which have exactly that same cover graph. Bob says, no, it's 43. How do they settle that argument? Not, not quite so easy. Question. Well, what does it mean, or can you even do this, where you have, uh, like, C covers D, like, on the first two, like, where they're horizontal, just covering? C doesn't cover D. Don't even say that. It hurts my ears. No. All right, so let's go back a couple of slides. When you're drawing a diagram of a post set, if you ever draw a picture like the right and say it's a diagram of a post set, I'm going to clobber you. <laughs> you never have any horizontal lines in the diagram of a post set. You can do it all you want in the drawing of a graph. But if you draw a horizontal line, when you're talking about the diagram, the order diagram, not the cover graph, the order diagram, you have lost the meaning of who is less than whom. I can't tell whether A is less than B or B is less than A. And so even in the drawing uh, among good friends, you should make it really clear whether a line is going up or going down. Go, go to this example right here. Yeah, I was a little nervous about drawing this because look at the second one. See the F to the E? I hope it's clear that F is lower than E. But if I just wiggle that drawing a little bit, I could make it vague. And then that's bad. Don't ever do that. Yeah, you, you're, you're, if you're given a, a binary relation on a test and asked to draw 
a diagram and you draw a horizontal line, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Is the point clear? Not in a no horizontal line in order diagrams. Cover graphs? Yes? Like on the one on the right? But not in order diagrams. Question? Uh, the order diagram where we're supposed to draw our own. Right here. So the last point says 7, 1, and all the other points aren't related to 7, 1. So does that mean it's its own part of the diagram? Like it's not connected to the other one? Hmm. Uh, uh, very good question. Um, remember when we talked about graphs and the notion of components? Well, post sets have the same thing. So when you start drawing multiple pictures, you have to be careful. Are they all part of the same post set? Are they different ones? Now, in this picture, eh. Because the ground sets are the same, then pretty clear that I'm talking about three different post sets. But what happens if in the picture on the left, I had integers 1 to 6, and the labeling on the one in the middle, I had 7 to 12, and then in the one on the right, I had 13 to 18. Now, am I talking about one post set whose ground set is 1 to 18, or am I talking about three different ones? I, I could be doing either. So now you have to communicate with your listener, or in, in the sense of the computer, if, I, if that was a post set on ground set 1 to 18, in my data file, the first line would be 18. That tells you. Okay. Now, I give them the information, and the information results in components for this post set that are in pieces. Maybe the one that you've shown has that quality. Maybe it's in pieces.